Hi everyone, let's learn how to find the angle between two planes. This scenario is illustrated on the right hand side of the screen. We have two planes, one is called pi 1 and the other is called pi 2, and we're interested in finding the angle, which I'll go ahead and call theta, between those two planes. To do this, all we actually need is a normal to each of the two planes. Indeed, provided we have a normal to plane 1, which I'll go ahead and call n sub 1, as well as a normal to plane 2, which I'll go ahead and call n sub 2, then the angle between the two planes is equal to the angle between the two normals. So let's go ahead and work through this example. We have the equations of each of the two planes here, and they're written in their Cartesian form. Indeed, plane 1's equation is 2x minus y plus 4z equals to 3, and the second plane, pi 2, has equation 5x plus 2y plus 3z equals to 7. And using the x, y, and z coefficients, we can go ahead and define normals for each of these two planes. Indeed, the normal to the first plane, n sub 1, equals to 2, negative 1, 4 where all I'm doing is reading the coefficients of the x, y, and z coefficients. I do the same for the second plane. n sub 2 will equal to 5, 2, 3, which are the x, y, and z coefficients of the second plane. Now that that's done, we use the formula for calculating the angle between two vectors. That's the formula we see in the lower right-hand corner of the screen here. Using that formula, we can therefore state that cosine of theta is equal to the dot product of n sub 1 with n sub 2 over the product of their magnitude. So that's the magnitude of vector n sub 1 and the magnitude of n sub 2. Calculating this, we find that's equal to the dot product, which is 2 times 5 plus negative 1 times 2 plus 4 times 3. So that's 2 times 5 plus negative 1 times 2, which is minus 2, plus 4 times 3, which is 12, over the magnitude of n sub 1. So let's just do that on the right-hand side here. The magnitude of n sub 1 will equal to the square root of 2 squared plus negative 1 squared plus 4 squared. And that's equal to the square root of 4 plus 1 plus 16. And so that magnitude is equal to the square root of 21. So we can add that on the denominator. That's the square root of 21 times the magnitude of n2. And again, I'll do that on the right-hand side here. The magnitude of n2 will be equal to the square root of 5 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. So let me just write that. That's 5 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. That's equal to the square root of 25 plus 4 plus 9. And that leads to the square root of 38. So we can add that as well. There we go. And now simplifying the numerator, we have 2 times 5, which is 10, minus 2, which is 8, plus 12, which is 20. So cosine of theta is equal to 20 over the square root of 21 times the square root of 38. Finally, using arc cosine or inverse cosine, we can go ahead and state that theta is equal to inverse cos of 20 over the square root of 21 times the square root of 38. And by all means check, but with our calculators, we find that that's equal to 44.9 degrees, where I've rounded to one decimal place. And that's the final answer. And we now know how to calculate the angle between two planes. And that's it for this tutorial.